Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be starting off 2021 with a bang with the release of Cyber Shadow. Cyber Shadow is an indie title mostly developed by one man with a dream, Erne Mekaskull Hunziger. He started a personal project years ago and it gradually grew into something much bigger. He eventually got more eyes on the project and later Yacht Club Games, the studio behind Shovel Knight, helped refine the experience. Reading about Arane's journey was fascinating, and I urge you to read it for yourself. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into the review of Cyber Shadow. The world of Cyber Shadow is set in a dystopian future. The story starts off with a bomb going off in Mecha City, and uh-oh, the ninja protagonist known as Shadow was in the middle of it. Shadow eventually wakes up as a cyborg with his skills forgotten. The story somewhat fleshes out throughout the game, with computer systems and dead people giving you more context in the story. These are pretty nice as you learn a little bit more about the world and the motivations behind the bad guys. Shadow's goal is to rescue his clan from these evildoers. The story isn't too intrusive, and it can be interesting to learn more about the world, although there isn't too much of it. Cyber Shadow was inspired by games such as Ninja Gaiden, so there's no surprise that the game's art style would also reflect on that inspiration. The 8-bit art style is incredible and would make any retro fan smile ear to ear. I really enjoy the cutscenes and how they also played a homage to NES style storytelling. The game is really pleasing to the eye, even the animation. Shadow's animation in particular is smooth and snappy, which really reflects his status as a ninja. Overall, the graphical design is fantastic and oozes passion with each and every level. Cyber Shadow is a level-based action platformer that takes inspirations from games like Ninja Gaiden and give it a modern spin. Each level is lovingly crafted with different layouts and mechanics that will challenge even the most experienced gamer. Throughout the game, you will acquire new skills and abilities that will greatly change how you play the game. The gameplay just keeps getting better and better as you play, so if you are stuck, just take a break and try again later because it can get bumpy. It's a really tough game, but not to the point where it kills your enjoyment. Well, most of the time. <laughs> Luckily the game is fair and even offers checkpoints throughout. Some checkpoints are further out than others and these segments can be rough. Luckily there are services you can buy at each checkpoint that can help you out a bit. With these services you can get power ups that make tough segments just a bit easier. The gameplay in general is great. It's fast paced, fluid, and the controls are responsive. Which is good because like I said before, this can be a tough game. There will be moments of frustration, I assure you. Boss battles in particular are a real pain and they'll take a dozen times to beat, maybe even more. But eventually you'll memorize level layouts and enemy attack patterns and eventually it does get a little easier. Cyber Shadow really pushes you and challenges even the most hardcore. But in the end, it's so satisfying making it to each checkpoint or defeating a boss. In a way, it's kind of addictive. It's one of those games that you just have to play it one more time because you almost made it to the next checkpoint or you almost beat the boss so you have to play one more time before you take a break. So that in itself makes it a pretty great game. The music is just as excellent as the presentation. The soundtrack was composed by Enric Martin and Jay Kaufman, and fans of classic NES and SNES soundtracks will be delighted by Cyber Shadow's soundtrack. As most of the music gave me strong Mega Man vibes, and I am here for it. The 8-bit inspired music complements the visuals in every way. Usually the month of January doesn't have the best games, but man, Cyber Shadow knocked it out of the park. So much so that I would love to see this as a series, with more abilities and environments added to a possible sequel. This game oozes style with its 8-bit inspired art style, and the gameplay is quick and snappy. I really enjoyed my time overall. I wish the game was a bit longer and the control scheme was a bit more streamlined. 
For instance, I really would have preferred button inputs for some of the abilities instead of directional inputs. That way it would just be a little bit easier to pull off some of the abilities. Also, the game can kick your butt at times, especially with bosses. I know that's part of the game's identity, but it's worth mentioning. Even with those nitpicks, Cyber Shadow is a fantastic game that is worth looking into, especially if you are into retro style games. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the game. Is it something you're interested in or is it just not your thing? And that's about it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.